Hello grade 9 learners and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So we have a new lesson today that is all about direct variation. So let's talk about related quantities. So there are situations in life that we can say that they are related to one another and they are not related to one another. For example, the nature of activity and heartbeat. For example, you are running so fast, then your heart beats fast. Speed and distance covered by a car in an hour. So, mas mabilis yung takbo na sasakyan, mas malayo yung distance na mararating nito. We also have socioeconomic status and number of friends. So, it means ba na kapag ikaw ay nakakaangat sa buhay or ikaw ay mayaman, so marami kang friends or maunti lang friends mo. So, are they related to one another? And hard work and success. So, if there's hard work in everything that you do, so meaning to say that it is not impossible that you will be successful someday. And that is something to do with our lesson today about direct variation. So, it is one thing na merong kakonekta doon sa mga related quantities. So, let's read the mathematical concept because ito yung ibibase natin para makuha yung answer. So, it says here that direct variation, let x and y denote two quantities. So, we're talking about two quantities wherein y varies directly with x or y is directly proportional to x. If there is a non-zero k such that y equals to kx, the number k is called the constant of proportionality or constant of variation. So, let's consider this example. A car travels at 60 km per hour. How far has it traveled after an hour? How about 2 hours? 3 hours? 4 hours? So, let us organize the numbers. So, we have here time. The unit is hour. And then, this will be the distance covered in kilometers. Let me say we have here one hour. Therefore, the distance covered is 60 kilometers. If it is 2 hours, the distance covered is 120 kilometers. For 3 hours, we have 180 kilometers. And for hours, we have 240 kilometers. So let's uh, please observe. So, notice that as time increases, the distance also increases. In fact, as time or numbers of hour is doubled, for example, na double siya, so yung 1 hour, then for 2 hours, and then 2 hours, naging 4 hours, the distance is also doubled. For example, 1 and 2 going here. So that is times 2. And then 2, 2 going to 4 times 2. So therefore, there is a relationship existing between the time and the distance. So this is an example of direct variation. So we say that distance varies directly as time. Since the distance travel depends on the length of time, the car is traveling at constant speed. So, ano yung ating constant speed dito? So, 60 km per hour. 
So the distance traveled is called dependent variable. So remember we have here the dependent variable and the length of time car travels is called independent variable. Meaning to say that the dependent variable, the distance, depends on the time. So, mas mahaba yung hours, so mas malayo yung distance. And that is what direct variation means. So, let's have another example. So, let's have an example that involves direct variation find the constant of variation. So, meaning to say that we are asked to find k. And the equation of variation in which y varies directly as x. And y equals to 51 when x equals to 3. So, we can write the equation of variation as So, the equation of variation is y equals to kx. So, one of the solution, let us write down one of the solutions of y equals to kx is it says here that y equals to 51 and then x equals to 3. So, we can write it as an ordered pair 351. So that is one of the solutions. And then we are asked to find the constant of variation and the equation. So this will be the equation of variation. So let us find k. So we just substitute the known values and solve for k. So we have here y equals to kx. Your y is 51 to substitute equals to k and then your x is 3. Then applying the MPE, so simply divide both sides by 3 or we can multiply it by 1 third. So 3, 3. So therefore 51 divides 3 is 17 equals to k. So therefore the value of k is 17. So the constant, so we can say that the constant of variation is 17 and then the equation of variation is y equals, palitan lang natin yung k ng 17, and then x. For our last problem, if y varies directly as x, and y equals to 24 when x equals to 6, find the value of y when x equals to 15. So it says here that varies directly, of course, we're going to use the equation of variation, which is y equals to kx. And let us find first our uh, the constant of variation which is yung ating k. So, ang ating given is y equals to 24 and then x equals to 6. So, we have here an ordered pair 6 and 24. So, just substitute to find the constant of variation. So, our y is 24 equals k times 6. And then applying the MPE or the, or the multiplication property of equality, which is simply divide it by 6 or multiply it by 1, 6. So divide both sides by 6. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. So that will be the value of K. So therefore, the equation of variation is Y equals your K is 4 x 
And then we are asked to find the value of y. So therefore, simply substitute the value of x, which is 15. So when x equals to 15, so just substitute here to find the value of y equals to 4, then your x is 15. Then y equals to 4 times 15 is 60. Therefore, y equals to 60 when x equals to 15. So I hope that you learned something today about direct variation. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and classmates and see you on our next video lesson.